Hey guys! So, would you like to step up your fried rice game? Would you like to learn how to prepare some tasty, sumptuous, and delicious fried rice? Then you know what? This video is for you. So, I promise you that after this video, your fried rice girl will step up to 100%. And here today we have a special guest who is here to teach us how to prepare the tasty, the sumptuous and delicious fried rice. She's a food blogger and also a food vendor. On Instagram, her name is Modern African Kitchen. All the way from, from Augusta, guys, help me welcome Hilda! your name and what you're here to, to teach us. Hello everybody, my name is Hilda Hilsen and um, today we are going to be making fried rice. Mm. We are going to be making vegetable <laughs> fried rice. Oh my god! <laughs> anyway, so stay tuned and let's get to business. <laughs> So you know what do we have here? Um, what ingredients are we going to be using for our tasty, delicious fried rice? Okay, we have the leek, we have onion, spring onion, we mm -hmm. have our fresh carrot, then we have our bell peppers. These are green, red, and yellow bell pepper. We have the thyme, dry thyme, and curry powder. We have some salt, stock cube, and of course baby. We have our frozen minced veggie, and of course the star of today's dish, our rice. Okay, so next begin. Can't wait to eat the rice. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start by seasoning your chicken and I use some stock cube, curry powder, onion, um, bay leaf, some thyme and that, that would do. Now I won't be parboiling this rice, I'm just going to wash it three times and um, I start to cook the little So all you have to do is repeat this step three times and you can use cold water or warm water for this, it doesn't really matter but warm water is better And there you have it, it's done. And now we're going to start cooking. So, what's the next step? Into a clean pan, we're just going to add our cooking oil. Enough to cook the fried rice. And we're going to be adding our garlic, our onion, and our ginger. I'm just going to save this real quick. 
Using garlic or ginger is quite optional. If you are allergic to any of them, then there's no need to use it in your meal. But if you're not, of course I would recommend using it because it has that nice aroma and obviously you want your dish not only tasting good but also smelling good. Next I'm going to add my dried thyme. I'm going to add my curry powder. And I'm using two sachets of Gino curry powder. Trust me, at this point, my house is already scented. Like the aroma coming from my kitchen now is amazing. You're going to add your rice now, your washed, washed rice. And you're going to stir fry this. So there's no need in boiling the rice first? No, well some people do boil their rice but I don't know, my home we don't, we just wash and start cooking. Let me even tell you something, my auntie there, she used to wash it and spread it for the sun to bathe it because she wants the rice, she said it's fried rice so it must be dry. So did you come up with this cooking style yourself? Uh, no, I copied from my answer. The same one that dries, dries <laughs> in the sun? Yes. And um, you can go ahead and add more curry powder, depending on the color you want to achieve. If you want it bright yellow, this is okay, but if you want it like thick, you want that really yellow fried, Nigerian fried rice, then go ahead and add more. So after stir frying, what, what next? Not next, actually I was supposed to put this when my ginger, my onion, everything was going in but this shit happened so I'm just going to add a bit of this and I'm going to use this other one for garnish and of course I'm adding my bay leaf Now to my fried rice I'll be adding the chicken stock Just above the fried rice a little, but definitely not so much. And at this point, I'm going to test for seasoning. I haven't added anything to this, I haven't added salt whatsoever, but the chicken stock contains all that, so I'm going to test so I can know the quantity and I'll be able to put any more. I'll be adding to stock you of Maggie. Yeah, Maggie stock you and I'll go ahead and add little to the it. Basically, we Nigerians, I don't we do, we are not used to measuring our ingredients. We just taste and adjust that how we do. I think it's natural for us. <laughs> so we are all with it. That gift. Not the list, I'll be adding this. Normally, you can blend this, but I'll just add this for that flavor of this. And after about 15 minutes, our rice is ready. I thought by now you would have added the carrots and other vegetables. No, we are going to stir fry that one separately. Now this is the most interesting part, the garnish. Because it's so colorful. So, so you put a little oil. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and add my spring onion and the leaf <laughs> it looks so good I love it for the color looks like rainbow so you're going to stir fry this for a few minutes Now it's time to add the frozen mixed veg. 
I normally add this last because it's so so and also you know why stepping your fresh carrot fresh diced carrot please don't stepper it for too long or don't make it lose that texture once it's hard a bit So do you want me to taste? <laughs> sure, why not? Bring your plate. <laughs> okay. And our fried rice is ready. It's time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, we are about to dish the rice now. So please, can you serve the food, Miss Chef? So real. Mm -hmm. Ooh la 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 la. So I am the tester. <laughs> also, Mr. Charles, can you come in? You will also be testing the food. You don't have to make noise with the spoon, <laughs> Charles. You don't have to actually. I'm waiting for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you are the one. Ooh la 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 la. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so you know, on the north side, it's yes. ladies first. Okay. Ladies okay, but first, can you talk about the presentation wise, this uh, aroma wise? Has <laughs> oh, everything? Mm. Well, when you asked me, I said this thing is good right from downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it's delicious. Oh my like, God! Okay. It's time. Can we eat it, please? Can we eat it, please? Please, Hold please. On. No, it's ladies first. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, please. Oh my Jesus. Wait, don't make noise. Mm. 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 No. Wait. This takes me over, Kelly. Mm. Mm. What about you now? <laughs> So what are the tips you have to tell our viewers? Can you please tell them? Thank you. Okay, basically when cooking fried rice, okay. one, you want to make sure you get the seasoning right. Also, the water quantity, that is like the most important thing in cooking fried rice. You don't want to overcook water, trust me, you will be great. Mm. And also, okay. um, once you finish the whole, the first set of the rice, that's seasoning, adding the water, Please don't add the water when the rice is about to dry or when it's already cooking. It will also make your rice soak okay. okay. Now for the garnish here, don't use only frozen veggies for the garnish. Other than it being not healthy, you would want that crunchy, fresh yeah. veggies in your fried rice. So I think that's all I have to say and um, let us know if you try out our recipe and you love it. Oh my god, I want to try the chicken. <laughs> so Yuda, thank you so so much for honoring our invitation. Oh. This is just a little token, just to acknowledge for. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Please, so <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you, baby. This oh, is so good. <laughs> I got hampered. I'm not yet by the I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If so, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Food Hamid. Also, don't forget to follow us on both Instagram and Twitter for more tasty, delicious, and sumptuous meals. Thank you. Bye.